This is an Alaska satellite facility data recipe for users who wish to generate a radiometrically terrain-corrected image using Sentinel synthetic aperture radar data. You will need a Sentinel granule and the SNAP toolbox, which can be downloaded from the European Space Agency website. You can download the sample granule included in the data recipe or use any Sentinel granule available through Vertex. In the SNAP interface, go to the File menu and select Open Product. Browse to the folder that contains your Sentinel-1 data and single-click the zip file to load it into the Product Explorer window. The program will automatically extract the zip files for you. Highlight the product you have loaded into the interface and, in the menu, click Radar, then Apply Orbit File and click Run. This step takes a few minutes to complete. Close the window when processing is finished. The next step is to calibrate the data. The output from the previous step appears in the Product Explorer window as a new file in the list. Select the new product and in the Radar menu, select Radiometric and then Calibrate. In the Calibration box, select the Processing Parameters tab. Select your desired polarization and ensure the output is beta not band. If another output band is already selected, deselect it before clicking on Run. This step can take about 20 minutes. Close the window when processing is finished. The next step is to flatten the terrain. The new output from the previous step appears in the Product Explorer window as the last product in the list. Highlight the new product and in the Radar menu, select Radiometric, then Radiometric Terrain Flattening. In the Processing Parameters, you will see the default settings downloaded at Digital Elevation Model, or DEM, matching the geolocation of the scene being corrected. Click Run. This could take 45 minutes or longer depending on your system. In order for this to work, you will need an internet connection. Close the window when processing is finished. The final step is to apply terrain correction. This will geometrically correct the image. Highlight the new output from the previous step in the Product Explorer window. In the Radar menu, select Geometric and then select Terrain Correction and choose Range Doppler Terrain Correction. In the Processing Parameters tab, use the default options for output files and change the map projection to UTM WGS84. Click Run. This step may take up to 30 minutes. The output from the last step in the, is the fifth file in the Product Explorer window. The file name ends with the letters TC. Double click on the file name to open the folder and find the products created by the last step. Open the folder named Bands. Double click on the single image file named Gamma Knot underscore VV. The image will open in the SNAP interface. The gamma knot file type that is produced with this method is excellent for statistical comparisons but can appear very dark. It's possible to see a lighter version of the image in a GIS environment using the ASF data recipe for viewing RTC data in GIS.